Oh, my name is Gurpreet Singh. I'm an associate professor in mechanical and nuclear engineering department at Kansas State University. And I work in the area of uh, polymer derived ceramics and uh, 2D nanomaterials for energy conversion and storage. Yeah, so I'm the principal investigator on the National Science Foundation uh, PDC PIRE project and where the PIRE stands for Partnerships for International Research and Education. And the goal um, of this program is to uh, support international engagement, uh, higher level international engagement uh, in US uh, science and engineering communities. And so we are applying different strategies to achieve this goal. Uh, we have um, reciprocal visits arranged with the Europeans and Asian partners. Uh, we are introducing new online courses. Um, we have um, this workshop here and uh, in addition to that we also have uh, we are going to start uh, dual degree masters and PhD programs uh, with, with, with domestic US universities and uh, uh, our foreign partners in uh, Europe and Japan. Yeah, so these PDC materials are wonderful. You know, these are the uh, these are what PDC stands for polymer derived ceramic. So uh, ceramics are known for their uh, ultra high temperature stability. Polymers are known for their lightweight, uh, and, but they are they are weak at high temperatures. So here, what we are doing is we are taking uh, polymers which are easy to process uh, into complex shapes and then transforming them into ceramics. And uh, so that's, that's actually pretty in interesting because generally the ceramics are made from ceramic powders and, uh, and the processing temperature could be 2000 degrees Celsius. So here we are starting with the polymer, uh, making complex shapes and making ceramics uh, all at 1000 degrees Celsius. And so the applications are numerous, you know, so think about making um, high temperature engine parts, blades for gas turbine engines, uh, we're talking about energy storage materials. So these materials have been shown to store lithium at room temperature. That means one may apply these materials for making uh, lithium ion batteries with high capacities. Uh, then uh, there are some um, applications in electronics, piezoelectronic, uh, piezo resistance, for example, for making high temperature sensors. Um, so, and, and for this workshop here, we have um, experts working in all these different areas.